Hey guys, this is Brian with Apple Headlines. I'm going to show you how to make a bootable DVD of Mac, uh, the newest Mac operating system, Lion, which was just released earlier this morning. Um, basically, you have to purchase it first from the Mac App Store, but before you install it, you know this will pop up and all this stuff. Go into if you want to make a backup copy. This should work for uh, you know whenever you need to reinstall it or anything. Um, go ahead and find the app called Install Mac, you know, Lion. Right click, hit Show Package Contents. Um, you're gonna go into here, and then you're gonna notice a folder that is extremely bigger than all the other ones. Uh, it's called Shared Support. Go ahead and open it, and then you'll see this is actually um, the image installer. So go ahead, um, we're gonna go ahead and copy that onto the desktop. So it's going to take a couple minutes. Uh, we'll just fast forward. Alright guys, we're on the last few seconds here. Um, what you're going to want to do is make sure you have a blank DVD already inside your drive. And you're going to go to Disk Utility. Um, disk Utility is in your Utilities folder inside your Applications folder basically right here so um, it'll also ask when you put in a blank DVD it'll ask you what you want to open you can pick this utility from the list uh, you're just gonna go ahead and click burn on the desktop you'll see the image And then just go ahead and proceed, and that's basically the end of it. Um, we'll fast forward here so you don't have to sit here and watch the whole thing so you can see the end. All right. All right, guys. Uh, we're right at the last step here. Uh, it already wrote it, and then it verifies it right after. So if you're not seeing this, you might have did something wrong, or I'm not sure what's going on, but this is what it's supposed to look like. So let's see how this looks when it ends. Bam! There you have it. So now to use this DVD, um, uh, make sure you have it in your Mac. And uh, when you restart or when you turn on the computer, uh, just hold down the C key and it'll come up as one of the list of bootable options and you install it just like you did every other operating system. So, alright guys, good luck, and I hope this helped. Alright, see ya.